ओके गाइज वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ए प्रैक्टिकल विच विल शो हाउ यू कैन सिमुलेट ए फेल ओवर फ्रॉम वन ए जी टू अनदर राइट सो इन द लास्ट लैब यू रिमेंबर वी क्रिएटेड ए मल्टी ए जी मल्टी ए जी आर डी एस इंस्टांस राइट सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वट वी आर गोइंग वी आर गोइंग टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप लैब नंबर टू फॉर आर डी एस वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू test our fail over okay so let's come to our rds instance which i created so this is like cloud learning right and if you see current availability zone is 1f okay right now its current availability zone is 1f and this is multi ag okay so we can note down this information cloud learning db and availability zone is us east 1f okay now question come how we can verify our multiple uh, fail over okay so in the amazon uh, first step in the amazon rds console view the list of db instances so i go there okay this is the Uh, first step done then second step is check your db instance called mysql123 and check its status when its status is available proceed to the next step so rather than uh, mysql123 i created here cloud learning instance right so but it is available right now right so we are good for next step now step number 3 is select the instance and issue a reboot command from the action menu so i select it go to actions and click on reboot okay reboot with fail over yes so now my instance is getting reboot so step number 3 is complete confirm the reboot so i have done okay so now i need to move to next step you have now simulated a fail over from availability zone to another using multi ag fail over this fail over should take approximately 2 or 3 minutes so right now it is 11:41 and we have to wait for 2 3 minutes and it should get fail over okay so i have issued a reboot and it is getting started okay and let's see what happens so meanwhile if you are comfortable you understood the purpose of this lab and you understood what i am saying if you can just type in comment section yes you understood that will be helpful for me right Uh, to understand that yes you are getting the things and you are enjoying this video right and whatever the comment you want to mention you can do for your queries like whatever the courses available these are there are few courses available at free learning okay where you can get one coupon for free days free 14 days premium subscription for skills share website or if you want aws or google hindi and english course you can also use see the details on my website right cloudlearning.co.in for other queries also like free courses online training self learning things are available here you can check all the details okay so let's till now reboot okay so guys if you see here the server got rebooted and it got rebooted with 1f again yes us east 1f okay so this got rebooted and still it is into 1f so let's reboot it again okay
and let's wait what happen so here i am guys so now this time when i rebooted it got rebooted into 1b region okay so now if you see my region got changed into 1b earlier the instance was available in 1f now this got changed to 1b and it is getting up so let's wait for one or two minutes more and maybe we should see the status available but now the region is changed to another availability zone okay so if you see now the instance is also available and its availability zone got changed and this is available in now availability zone us east 1b okay and let's try to connect this instance also so i open my hadoskel client my sql client here okay this is my server detail okay and this is my endpoint right so i have all these details so let's just connect and here we go i can see that my data is available like i created two tables and both tables are available right so i can see my data also i can connect my database also so now i hope you understood how multi availability multi ag or multi availability zone is working if there is some issue with some availability zone one or it is somehow if it is not available it will automatically get fail over to other region instance okay or other availability zone instance okay you can keep your other instance into other zone or other region as well right so here you can verify and this is this confirm that availability zone used to get changed and now from us east 1f it got changed to us east 1b okay so i hope you got this and you understood the concept of how multi availability zone works if you like this video please hit like button or if you have more like this video you can share my channel cloud learning with other people and you can share the my udemy courses list the list is given in the description with them so that they can buy aws hindi or english dedicated courses and at very low prices and that will be very useful for them to get a dedicated learning okay so thank you guys for watching this video we'll connect in with some other lab like it will be lab number 3 now okay where we will create a read replica as well so we will see how we can create a read replica okay in the next lab thank you guys for watching this video bye bye